This is the X Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports. Covering the Loretto Mustangs. Summertown Eagles. And Lawrence County Wildcats. Basketball. Football. Baseball. And more. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome back to the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic here as we're ready for another girls basketball matchup as Summertown, who is 2-0 so far in the Invitational, will take on Moore County on the girls' side. Starting first, checking out both sides of Summertown, coming into the game at 2-2 two two over all their head coaches, Jeremy Jean. They have wins over Cornersville and Kolioka. 2-0 in the tournament. Moore County coming into this game at 3-1 overall. Their head coach is Chad Spencer. They lost to Loretto on the opening day and then got a win over Kolioka yesterday. First meeting between these two since they met up literally the same day a year ago in the Whitwell Thanksgiving Tournament Championship game. That was a 48-45 win for Summertown. A busy day. We've already had a pair of games before us. Kolioka, both the girls and the boys defeating Collinwood. The girls 45-39 and the boys with a come from behind 66 to 57 win. Other matchups after this will be the Summertown boys taking on Franklin Christian. That will be at 2.30. The Loretto girls taking on Cornersville at 4. Then at 5.30 will be the Loretto boys and the Cornersville boys. Been running a bit ahead of schedule just like we've done all week here. Starting lineups for Summertown, Carly Campbell, Emily Brazier, Ainsley Burles, and Mia Dimwitty, Nabby Joe Schaefer. For the Raiders, it will be Paisley Logan, Katie Fletcher, Macy Fletcher, Ava Butts, and Madison Dingler. There's your starting five here for both sides as we get ready for some more high school girls of basketball action here from the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic. Game going to tip about three minutes early as we're ready. For Lady Eagle basketball here on the X Sports Network. Mia Dimwitty comes down with the first off the opening tip. Over to Ainsley Burleson at the wing. She'll drive, kick out to Emily Brazier straight away. Loses control, regains it, and into the hands of Carly Campbell at the Cornersville logo. Campbell spins, drives, kicks out the Brazier at the wing. She'll bring it to the top of the key. Now in the paint. Gets her shot in deflecting into the hands, and now it's Dingler with it. She'll come across the timeline. Gets it ahead the butts. Butts now brings it back out to Dingler for the Raiders. Moore County wearing their white uniforms going from right to left. Summertown wearing their road blacks going from left to right. Dingler in the corner fakes the three drives. Picks up her dribble, kicks out the Butts. Butts now out to Katie Fletcher and back over to Dingler. Now a handoff here to Fletcher. 
Now gets it to Dingler. Dingler. Now to Ellie Graham in the corner for three. She misses and actually hit the top of the backboard, and that will go to Summertown. Correction on the starting lineup. You have Ellie Graham into the starting five, not Paisley Logan. Minute in, no score here between Summertown and Moore County. Campbell across the timeline here for the Lady Eagles over to Emily Brazier. Brazier now going to drive and will get fouled in the process. Picking up the foul will be Katie Fletcher. She'll pick up her first, first foul for either side. Campbell to take it out of bounds. And we'll lob it into Schaefer, who has it near the Cornersville logo, over to Burleson. Burleson will drive. Left-handed shot up, no good. Rebound, and she gets fouled from behind. That will go against Fletcher. She picks up two fouls, not even, not even a minute 20 into the game. It's Paisley Logan will come in for Fletcher, more than likely will set out for the rest of the first half. Campbell will take it out of bounds now here for the Lady Eagles. Now in the Mia Dimwitty, back to Campbell in the corner. Campbell facing a man-to-man here by the Raiders, drives, now dishes out through Brazier over to Burleson. She'll now drive, throws up a shot, and that one's blocked by Fletcher into the hands of Abby Jo Schaefer and in. First points for either side as Summertown leads it two to nothing. Minute 40 here into the first quarter. Butts now being trapped from behind and that's stolen away by Carly Campbell. Campbell gets the ball. We'll now bring it across the timeline for Summertown. She'll drive, kick out the Dimwitty. Dimwitty now to Burleson at the wing, throws it down low for Schaefer. Schaefer kicks out the Campbell, fakes a corner three, will drive. She'll go off the glass, can't get it to go. Schaefer with the rebound, that won't go. And a rebound out to Fletcher. Dingler with it now for the Raiders, and she'll cross over the timeline. Now to Butts near the corner. Butts will dribble out, gets it to the top of the key. Picks up her dribble, looking for somebody, and will now hand it off to Dingler. Dingler facing the man-to-man here by the Lady Eagles. Now to Logan. Logan drives, throws up a shot that's partially blocked, goes into the hands of Ainsley Burleson, who then loses it back. Down low, it's Ellie Graham blocked from behind by Carly Campbell. Brazier now with her here for the Eagles. Drives, nice pass to Abby Jo Schaefer. That one's up and in. Schaefer with all four points so far here for Summertown as they lead it four to nothing. Graham with it here for the Raiders. Loses that one into the hands of Carly Campbell. Campbell. Nice pass to Mia Dimwitty off the glass and in. And Chad Spencer will call his first timeout of the game here for Moore County. It will be a 30-second timeout. We'll take that break with him here on the Exports Network. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Carriers, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares isn't just a company, it's a family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And back here at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, Summertown turning turnovers in the points. They lead Moore County 6 to nothing. just three minutes into the game. Graham gets it back to Dingler here for the Raiders. Dingler across the timeline facing the man-to-man. Over the butts at the D point. Butts now trying to drive on Mia Dimwood. He gets it to the top of the key. She'll drive into the paint. Throws up a crazy floater. No good. Fletcher with the rebound. Goes up. That one is blocked out of bounds and will stay with Moore County. Dingler to take it out of bounds here for the Raiders. Lobs it in the Fletcher in the paint, goes up and she's fouled. That will go against Mia Dimwitty, I believe. That's her first, team's first. Pair of free throws coming up here for Macy Fletcher. 4.38 remaining here in the first quarter. Summertown leading 6-0. First shot on its way and she hits it. First points for the Raiders. Next shot, she knocks them both down. Six to two is a Summertown lead. 
Dimwitty. And gets it over to Campbell across the timeline. Facing the zone here. Campbell breaks it. Now to Burleson in the corner for three. Back on no good. Rebound. Emily Brazier. Brazier now to Campbell. Straight away for three. No good. Rebound Burleson. She goes up. Can't get it to go, but she's fouled. Burleson will go the line to shoot two. Foul will go against Fletcher. She'll pick up her first, team's third. Now checking in for Ava Butts will be Anna Harder. A pair of free throws coming up for A.J. Burleson. First one on its way, and she rolls it in. Next one for Burleson. And gets them both to go. Checking, now, checking in now for the Eagles will be Mackenzie Reynolds and Olivia Riggs. Dimwitty and Campbell will check out. Press put on here by the Eagles. Graham with it. That one's stolen away by Ansley Burleson. Burleson, left-handed layup up and in. She's got four, and Summertown leads it 10-2. Harder back to Dingler halfway through the first quarter. Dingler now across the timeline. Being trapped here by Riggs and Reynolds. Trying to get out of it, and that one's stolen away by Olivia Riggs. Riggs coming back. Left-handed layup, up, blocked, and will go out of bounds to Summertown. That's six turnovers by the Raiders so far already here in the first quarter. Brazier takes it out of bounds for the Eagles into Burleson at the wing. Burleson now crosses over, drives, throws up a shot, can't get it to go, rebound the Fletcher. Fletcher now to Dingler. Dingler crosses the timeline for Moore County. Guarded here by Reynolds. And facing a tight man-to-man, gets it over to Logan. Logan drives, picks up her dribble over to Graham. Graham, now to Harder. Harder to Dingler straight away. Dingler will drive, and she's fouled. Reynolds will pick up the foul, her first, team's fourth. Actually, her first team's second. Graham with it. She kicks out here to Harder. Harder now to Dingler. And she almost walked there, but gets in the Harder in the corner. She'll try a left-handed three. No good. Rebound. Fought for him. We get a jump ball. That will go and stay with Moore County. Dingler will take it out of bounds. Lobs it in for Graham in the paint. Graham loses control. Knocked away by Burleson. Regains it. Now she'll try three. Misses everything. And to the hands of Fletcher. Another good offensive rebound. Fletcher playing hard so far from Rowan County. Loses that one. But into the hands of Dingler. Dingler. Nice behind the back move. Spinning out of trouble. Kicks it over to Graham. Graham will drive the baseline. And throws it to Harder. Now to Dingler. She'll try three from the wing. Nothing but net. Dingler's first points, they cut the lead in half to 10 to five. Long pass to Reynolds in the corner. She gets out of the double team to Schaefer. Schaefer drives, right-handed layup, can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound, it'll be a jump ball. That will go to Summertown. Dimwitty and Campbell will check back in as Schaefer and Brazier will check out for the Lady Eagles. No subs on the other side for Moore County. 2.25 remaining here in the first quarter. Campbell takes it out of bounds. Looking for somebody. And will lob it in to Burleson. Burleson spins in the paint. Left-handed layup. Gets it in. She's got six. It's a 12-5 Lady Eagle lead. Press put on here by the Eagles. And now we get a foul called here against Olivia Riggs. Riggs will pick up her first. Team's third. Clock stops at 2-12 here in the first. Graham gets inbounds, back to Dingler. Dingler gets it over to Graham. They have an open Fletcher in the corner. She'll now drive. Left-handed shot, no good. Rebound, Ainsley Burleson. Burleson ahead now to Campbell. Campbell drives. And we get a charge called against Campbell. Campbell's first, team's fourth. Second turnover by the Lady Eagles. Dingler inbounds in the harder. 
Harder will get it back to Dinglin. Minute 50 left in the quarter. Summertown leading 12 to 5. Dingler now to Logan in the corner. Logan dribbles out to the wing, drives to the paint, throws up a shot, can't get it to go, gets her own rebound. And that one eventually falls in. Her first points. And they cut the lead to five at 12 to seven. Coming back is Campbell over to Burleson at the deep wing. Burleson now to Riggs. NBA range three from the corner, no good. Rebound Logan. And gets it out to Fletcher. Fletcher picks up her dribble. Looking for somebody. And a timeout here called by Chad Spencer, the head coach from Moore County. It'll be a full timeout, and we'll take that break with them here on the Exports Network. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through southern middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs to recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. A.J. Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. And back here at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, Moore County burns its second time out. They trail Summertown 12-7 with a minute 13 left in the first quarter. Dingler inbounds in the harder, press put on here by the Eagles. Harder trying to dribble out of it here on the sideline, out to Dingler. Dingler lobs over to Graham across the timeline. Graham back to Dingler straight away. Over to Harder at the wing, now to Fletcher. Fletcher dribbles, drives, kicks out to Graham. Graham loses that one, regains possession. Now to Logan, straight away for three. Front iron, no good. Rebound to Carly Campbell. Campbell trying to fight out of it, and a jump ball will stay with Moore County. 47 seconds left in the quarter. Dingler takes it out of bounds over to Graham. Graham picks up her dribble. We'll hand it back to Dingler. Dingler will walk to the top of the key. Now hands it over to Logan. Logan now over to Fletcher, and Fletcher loses it out of bounds. Seventh turnover by the Raiders, and Summertown will get it back with 34 seconds left in the first. Dimwitty inbounds into Campbell, and Campbell will walk across the timeline facing a 1-3-1. And that ball is kicked by Graham. We'll stay with Summertown. Dimwitty on the inbounds, gets it over to Campbell. Campbell across the timeline, back to Dimwitty. Dimwitty breaks through the 1-3-1, kicks in the Ronald. She'll try a left-handed three from the corner, misses, and the rebound comes out to Logan. Logan now to Fletcher, tries to get it to Dingler, and a foul will be called on McKenzie Ronalds. Ronalds will pick up her second, team's fifth. Nine seconds left in the quarter, so a five-point Lady Eagle lead. Dingler takes it out of bounds and gets it into Graham. Now back to Dingler. Here to Harder. Harder. Now over to Fletcher. Fletcher to get a shot off here at the buzzer and gets it in. Fletcher's got four. It's a 12 to 9 Summertown lead after one quarter of play. We have the start of the second when we return here on the X Sports Network. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Kalaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, 
We have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. This is the X Sports Network. Back at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, Summertown leading Moore County 12 to 9. They have the ball to start the second quarter. Burleson with it in the corner. Now to Schaefer in the paint. Out to Dimwitty. Dimwitty drives. Layup up, blocked out of bounds. Will stay with the Eagles. Jeremy Jean calls out the play here for Summertown. Campbell has an open Brazier in the corner. Brazier will try a three. Front iron, no good. Rebound out to Dingler. Madison Dingler here for the Raiders, guarded by Campbell. Nice behind the back move across the timeline over to Harder at the wing. Harder drives to the top of the key, now to the other wing, to Dingler in the corner. Fletcher at the free throw line. She'll dribble. Kicks out the Dingler, stolen away by Carly Campbell. Campbell across the timeline quickly for the Eagles. Kicks out the Burleson, fakes a three, dribbles. Kicks over to Brazier at the other wing. She'll drive and get fouled on the way up. Logan will pick up the foul. Her first, team's fourth, and a pair of free throws coming up here for Emily Brazier. Summertown so far two or two from the line here in the game. First one on the way from Brazier. Rolls it in. Her first point. And the next shot on its way. Nothing but net. Summertown now leads 14 to 9. 48 seconds into the first quarter. Press put on here by the Eagles. Dingler struggling to get it in. Gets it in to Graham. And Graham's fouled from behind by Burleson. Ainsley picks up her first. Team six. Only one in foul trouble so far for the Eagles is McKenzie Runnels. Dingler gets it in the gram. She's guarded by Dimwitty. Back out to Dingler. Dingler now across the timeline here for the Raiders. And we get a carry called on Dingler. Ninth turnover against the Raiders. Summertown's gotten eight points off of those previous eight turnovers. Campbell now across the timeline over to Dimwitty. The Burleson near the corner. She'll drive the baseline. Baseline jumper. Rolls it in. She's got eight, and Summertown now leads it 16 to 9. Dingler lobs it in the Graham, being trapped back out the Dingler. Dingler, nice behind the back move across the timeline, crosses over now to Graham. Graham at the wing, over to Harder straight away. Now the Fletcher in the corner. Fletcher lobs it in the Graham, right handed shot up, and banks it in. Her first points, it's now a five point Summertown lead, 6.25 remaining in the half. Campbell. Over to Burleson in the corner. Back to Campbell in the low block. Kicks out the Brazier. She'll try a corner three. Back iron no good. Rebound Carly Campbell. Campbell. And now a carry called against Campbell. And that will go the other way for Moore County. Third turnover against the Eagles. Jeremy Jean gets the explanation from the head coach. Excuse me, from the official. Dingler with her now for Moore County. She'll cross the timeline here for the Raiders. Over to Graham. And Graham travels. One too many steps there. Make that now 10 turnovers against the Raiders. Dimwitty inbounds into a Campbell. Six minutes now left in the half. Campbell walks across the timeline facing the 1-3-1. Over to Brazier. Brazier. Back over to Campbell at the other wing. She'll drive, loses it, regains possession, and will dribble back out to the top of the key. Now to Brazier in the corner to Burleson. She'll try a three. Nothing but net. She's in the double figures with 11. It's an eight-point Summertown lead. Make that now 13 points off of 10 Moore County turnovers. Ava Butts will check back in as Anna Harder will check out. 5.39 5.39 remaining in the half. Summertown leads 19-11. to 11. 
Graham gets inbounds from Dingler, who gives it back to Dingler. Dingler now coming the other way here for the Raiders. Hands over to Butts. Butts now kicks out to Fletcher. Fletcher at the wing. Drives, kicks out to Logan straight away. Logan throws up a shot. Blocked into the hands of Ainsley Burleson. Good defense there by Emily Brazier. Burleson coming back the other way and loses that one off her foot out of bounds. And back to Moore County. Each side trading turnovers. Moore County gets it back. Dingler inbounds in the Graham back to Dingler. Dingler walking across the timeline. Guarded here by Campbell over to Butts. Butts dribbles out. Guarded here by Campbell. Crosses over. Goes into the paint and goes in there. And a block called. And it's Abby Joe Schaefer's. Butts went in there wildly. But Schaefer wasn't set, said the official. She'll pick up her first, the team's seventh, and we got a one and one coming up for Butts. Even five minutes left here in the first half. First shot from Butts on its way. Front iron, no good. Rebound out to Mia Dimwitty. It's the first free throw miss from either side in the game. Burleson picks up her dribble, looking for somebody, gets it out to Campbell. Campbell lobs it down low to Schaefer. Schaefer off the glass, in and she's fouled. That foul will go against Dingler. Dingler will pick up her first, team's fifth. As now Olivia Riggs will check in. Ainsley Burleson will check out. Free throw from Schaefer, nothing but net. She's now got seven as Reynolds will check in for Carly Campbell. 22 to 11 is the Summertown lead. Dingler inbounds into Graham, now back to Dingler. Dingler, Graham, and uh, Macy Fletcher have played every minute so far here for the Raiders. Butts in the corner to Fletcher. Fletcher tries to go back door to Logan, stolen away by McKenzie Reynolds. Reynolds, left-handed layup, up, and it was in, but they said she was fouled on the floor. Foul will go against the Raiders' Dingler. Back-to-back fouls. Now inbounds into Riggs. She's up and fouled. And Am one coming up for Olivia Riggs. Foul will go against Butts. Her first, team seventh. Shot from Riggs on its way, and she knocks it down. 25-11 25-11 to 11 is the lead as Riggs picks up her first points. Summertown, a perfect six for six from the line so far. Graham gets the inbounds here from Dingler. Coming back the other way. Now to Graham. Graham picks up her dribble. Gets it over to Butts. Butts gets that pass stolen away by Reynolds. Reynolds lobs it ahead to Schaefer and a good defense there by Macy Fletcher. Now over to Dingler here. Let's go to the four-minute mark here left in the second quarter. Butts with it at the deep wing. Butts looking for somebody. We'll drive to her left. Layup up. No good, and she's fouled. Foul will go against Schaefer. Pick up her second, team's eighth. A pair of free throws coming up here for Ava Butts. First shot on its way. Back iron, no good. Campbell and Burleson will come in for Schaefer and Brazier. Logan will check out. And Harder will check in for the Raiders. Comes the next free throw from Butts on its way. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Campbell. Campbell, across the timeline, quickly speed in the corner to Riggs, back to Burleson. Burleson drives into the paint, left-handed shot, off the glass, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Riggs, and we'll go to Moore County. 3.40 remaining in the half, Summertown leading 25-11. to Dingler takes it out of bounds for the Raiders and gets it in to Graham. 
Graham back to Dingler. And Dingler here guarded by Campbell. And Burleson lobs it over to Graham. Graham with it, the deep wing over to Harder. Harder brings it back to a spot now at the top of the key. And she's fouled by Reynolds. I believe that's Reynolds' third, team's ninth. Pair of fruit, actually one and one coming up here for Anna Harder. Moore County's missed three in a row at the line. Left-handed shot up, no good, make that four in a row. But an offensive rebound here by Macy Fletcher, and she's fouled. Reynolds is going to pick up her fourth, and now a pair of free throws coming up for Macy Fletcher. First shot on its way, no good. Brazier to come in, and Reynolds will check out. Ten team fouls now for the Eagles. Moore County shooting two shots on every foul for the rest of the half. Next free throw from Fletcher gets that one in. Fletcher's got five. Raiders now three of eight from the line. They've, made, they've only made one of their last six. Campbell now over to Brazier, a 13-point Lady Eagle lead. Brazier now to Riggs. Riggs with it, the deep wing. Sends it over to Dimwitty in the corner. She'll drive into the paint. Left-handed shot up, blocked out of bounds by Graham, and will stay with the Eagles. Campbell to take it out of bounds for Summertown. Gets it in the Brazier. Shot up and she's fouled. That will go on Harder, her first team's eighth, and a pair of free throws coming up for Emily Brazier. Summertown perfect six of six from the line so far tonight. First shot on its way. Nothing but net. Next shot from Brazier. Nothing but net on Bo. She's four for four from the line. Summertown leads it 27 to 12. Dingler inbounds here to Graham. Back to Dingler. Three minutes left in the half. Dingler walks it across the timeline over to Butts. Butts looking for somebody. Dribbles out. And you get a block call here against Summertown. That will go against Brazier. She'll pick up her first. And a pair of free throws coming up here for Ava Butts. First shot from Butts. Back iron, no good. Next free throw from Butts. Can't get that one to go. Rebound Macy Fletcher, and that one's in. Fletcher leads all Raiders with seven points. Moore County now has six second chance points. Campbell, floater in the lane, no good. Offensive rebound, Burleson. Burleson shot up, can't get that one to go. Gets her own rebound. Now a fight for the ball, and that will go to Moore County. Logan will now check back in here for Moore County. His butts will check out. Dingler to take it out. Looking for somebody, gets it to Harder. Harder lobs it over to Dingler. Hustling back quickly is Campbell and Riggs. Dingler now to Logan in the corner and loses it out of bounds. 14 turnovers against the Raiders here in the first half. Dimwitty to inbound, now in the Campbell. Campbell across the timeline, sends it over to Riggs. Riggs. Spins, goes in the paint, layup up, no good. Rebound, Graham. Graham now to Dingler, two minutes left in the half. Dingler across the timeline. Hands over to Logan. Logan drives, shot up. Rebound, comes out to Ainsley Burleson, rips it away. Quickly ahead to Mia Dimwitty across the timeline. Dimwitty drives, shot up, no good. Offensive rebound back to Dimwitty. Dimwitty's going to bring it back out. Now to Burleson for three. Front iron no good. Rebound comes to Fletcher. Fletcher lobs ahead to Logan across the timeline. Gets it into Graham. Graham's going to drive the baseline. Spins. Hands it to Fletcher. Fletcher in the paint. 
Tries to muscle her way in, but can't out the Logan. Now to Harder for three. Back iron no good. Rebound to Olivia Riggs. A great box out there. A minute 15 left in the quarter. Riggs now to Campbell. Campbell dribbles at the top of the key. Now out to Riggs. Riggs now to Dimwitty. Over to Brazier. Brazier now to Riggs straight away. She's got it by Harder. Over to Burleson. Burleson drives. Kicks out the Brazier in the corner. Brazier now down low to Dimwitty. And that shot's blocked out of bounds by Ellie Graham. Graham has at least five blocks so far here in the first half. Clock stops at 52 seconds left. Campbell to take it out of bounds here for the Eagles. Gets it in the Burleson. Mid-range jumper. No good. Rebound comes to Graham, and she's fouled from behind. Dimwitty will pick up the foul, her second. And now a pair of free throws coming up here for Graham. Been a struggle so far for the Raiders from the line at 3 for 10 here in the first half. First shot on its way. Back iron, no good. Riley Blackwood will now check in as Dimwitty will check out. Next shot here from Graham on its way. That one's no good. Rebound Ainsley Burleson. Coming back the other way is Burleson. She'll stop. She'll try a three. Front iron no good. Rebound the Dingler. 35 seconds left in the half. Dingler comes across quickly over to Logan. Logan now to Harder. Harder dribbling. Guarded by Blackwood. And throws it to Fletcher. Fletcher at the free throw line. Drives into the paint. Spins. And goes up in his foul. A lot of fouls here in the first half. That will go on Burleson, her second. A pair of free throws coming up here from for Fletcher. 13 team fouls in the first half for Summertown. First shot on its way. And that one goes around the world and in. Next free throw on its way, and she hits them both. She leads all Raiders with nine. Moore County now five of 14 from the line. And credit Fletcher for hitting most of those. 15 seconds left in the half. Summertown leading by 11. Riggs with it. 10 seconds left. Over to Campbell. Campbell dribbles, drives. Goes up, left hand, lamp up and in. Her first points. And that will end the half. Summertown leads it 29 to 16 after 16 minutes of play. When we return, it'll be time for the start of the second half here on the X Sports Network. Make 2022 the year to refresh your home. And who you're going to call to help? Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's largest furniture store. We've stocked our three acres of showroom and warehouses full of inventory. And got to make room for more arriving daily. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, all from the brands you've told us you love. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy-duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight-up deal on the best in professional zero-turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com A local law firm respected throughout the state 
generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. I'm Mike Keith. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Hey, folks, this is Fred Whale, principal broker and owner of United Country Southern Tennessee Realty in Lawrenceburg. Your local real tree land pro agent specializing in country homes, farms, and land. If you're thinking about selling or would like a free comparative market analysis to see what your property is worth, please give us a call at 931-244-7126. We market your property worldwide to get you the most exposure, which in turn gets you the highest price in the shortest amount of time. Visit us at southerntnrealty.com. It's time for Fun Facts. Minnesota is an incredible state. Its capital is St. Paul, but its original name was Pig's Eye. You know, after that French-Canadian whiskey trader, Pierre Pig's Eye Perrant. I mean, come on, everyone knows this stuff, right? (laughs) Minnesota is our 32nd state, having joined the Union on May 11th, 1853. Here are five fun facts about Minnesota. One, Minnesota has more shoreline than California, Florida, and Hawaii combined. Two, Minnesota also has the longest freshwater shoreline in the world with 116 lighthouses and is second only to Alaska in total shoreline in the United States. Three, the largest prehistorical burial site in the upper Midwest is the Grand Mound in Kuchiching County, Minnesota. It dates back to 200 BC. Number four, Spam, you know that canned meat made of pork shoulder and ham, was invented in Minnesota by Hormel. The U.S. military purchased 150 million pounds of Spam during World War II. The soldiers gave it other names like ham that didn't pass its physical, meatloaf without basic training, and special army meat. Number five, the world's largest ball of twine rolled by one man can be found in Darwin, Minnesota. And you know, no one really knows why Francis A. Johnson decided to dedicate four hours every day for 29 years, but he did. It's almost nine tons and 12 feet in diameter. Mr. Johnson died of emphysema, and they think it was caused by all that twine dust he inhaled for 29 years. <laughs> and there you have it, five fun facts about Minnesota. See you next time on Fun Facts. Renright Equipment has all the tools you need to get the job done. From bobcats to trenchers to augers to lifts, we have a large variety of equipment for every project, big or small. Need a new mower? We have you covered there, too. With great brands Hustler and Big Dog, Renright is ready to serve all your equipment needs. Call today and reserve your equipment from Renright Equipment in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a -a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work.
Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. A.J. Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. Hey, back here at Back here at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, getting ready to start the second half. Summertown leading Moore County 29-16. Taking a look at the first half stats, Ainsley Burleson leading all scores with 11. Abby Jo Schaefer with 7. Emily Brazier with 4. Carly Campbell, Mia Dimwitty with 2. Olivia Riggs with 3. On the other side for Moore County, Macy Fletcher with 9. Madison Dingler with 3. Ellie Graham and Paisley Logan each with 2. Hustle stab wise, Summertown has forced 14 turnovers with 16 points off of those. Moore County has forced five with no points. Summertown, nine offensive rebounds, four second chance points. Moore County, four offensive rebounds and six second chance points. Also, another big difference. Summertown, eight of eight from the free throw line, while Moore County is just five of 14. Moore County just walked on to the court. It's getting ready to start the second half here. Officials here having a conference here with head coach Chad Spencer Spencer seems very exas- exasperated trying to find the right word to make it sound right at the same time we only the difference here between this tournament as you would in a normal basketball situation it's eight minute halves not ten and uh, sometimes that can be confusing which I can fully understand as we start the second half Summertown with the ball Burleson with it here guarded by Katie Fletcher Burleson up and under and that ball is blocked from behind and we'll go over to Moore County. Coming back the other way, Dingler's going to lose it out of bounds. We'll go back to Summertown. Fletcher only played about a minute and 40 seconds. Katie Fletcher, that is, of the first half, picking up two quick fouls in about a five-second span. Campbell with it now for Summertown. Over to Tim Whitty. Now to Brazier near the corner. Dribbles out to the wing. Out to Schaefer straight away. Now to Campbell. She'll try a deep three. Nothing but net. Campbell with five. Summertown leads 32 to 16. Dingler with it now. She's guarded by Brazier. She quickly gets across the timeline over to Butts. Butts, long pass over to Katie Fletcher. Just saves that from going out of bounds. But though picks up her dribble in the process. And I guess they said she was just gathering the ball. Let her go with it. Dingler with it now in the corner. Now to Butts straight away. Now to Fletcher. Macy Fletcher, that is for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound. Ava Butts throws up a shot. That's no good. The rebound comes out to Mia Dimwitty. Dimwitty the other way with it. Now over to Campbell. Campbell to a wide open Burleson. She'll try a three. No good. Rebound out to Emily Brazier. Brazier back to Campbell. Campbell will dribble back to the top of the key. Man to man put on by the Raiders. Campbell. Kicks out the Dimwitty. Dimwitty back to Burleson straight away over to Brazier. Brazier now over to Campbell near the top of the key. She dribbles, crosses over and drives, kicks out the Dimwitty. Dimwitty now to Burleson. Burleson in the paint, mid-range jumper, knocks it down. She's got 13. Summertown leads at 34-16. Dingler here. Gets it over to Butts. Knocked away by Abby Joe Schaefer coming back the other way. Campbell with it. Campbell spins. Kicks out the Schaefer on the baseline. Thinks about jumper. Now to Campbell. She'll try a three. No good. Rebound. Katie Fletcher. Fletcher's going to bring it across the timeline. Lobs over to Graham and just overthrows it. That will go out of bounds to Summertown. Now 17 turnovers by Moore County. And Chad Spencer is going to call a 30-second timeout here for the Raiders with his team trailing by 18. We'll take that break with him here on the X-Sports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. 
LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. And back at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, Summertown in control here in the third. They lead at 34 to 16. Campbell over to Dimwitty. Now to Ainsley Burleson near the corner. She'll drive the baseline. Shot up. No good. Rebound, Abby Jo Schaefer. And it's saved by Emily by Campbell, who throws it off of Moore County. It's now 11 offensive rebounds for Summertown. Got six second chance points off of those. Campbell. Lobs it in for Burleson. Has at the Cornersville logo. Burleson now over to Dimwitty. Dimwitty over to Burleson in the corner. Burleson back to Dimwitty. Dimwitty over to Brazier at the other wing. She dribbles, kicks out to Burleson. Burleson step back jumper. Front iron no good. Rebound. Saved by Brazier, but it goes out of bounds. And they actually... He said it went off Summertown. It went off Moore County. Clearly went off Summertown. And the officials now concur, and it will go to Moore County. 5.05 remaining in the third. Summertown leading by 18. Graham gets the inbound from Dingler, and Dingler gets it back. Lobs it over to Graham. Graham will get it across the timeline. Being trapped, sends it over to Dingler. Loses control, regains it. Now over to Katie Fletcher. Fletcher in the paint. Kicks out the Macy Fletcher. She'll try a three. Corner iron, no good. Rebound. Comes into the hands after a pinball to Ainsley Burleson. Burleson coming the other way. Coming with speed. Stops. Kicks out the Dimwitty. Dimwitty. Now to Campbell. Thinks about a three. Pulls it down. Now gets out the Dimwitty. Dimwitty over to Brazier. Brazier now to Campbell. She'll try a three. Corner iron no good. Rebound. Comes to Abby Jo Schaefer. Saves it to Brazier. Brazier now to Burleson. And Burleson... Was fouled about three times there, and they finally got one of them. Katie Fletcher will pick up her third. Just the first foul for either side here in the second half after a very foul-heavy first half. Campbell with the ball back for Summertown. Gets it in to uh, Schaefer. Schaefer hands off to Burleson. Now to Campbell. Thinks about three, drives. Tries a pull-up shot. No good. Rebound, Graham. Graham trying to come back the other way, picks up her dribble, gets over to Dingler. Dingler now crosses over the timeline, now to Logan. Logan who just checked in. Logan here, gets it over to Katie Fletcher. Fletcher guarded by Ainsley Burleson, lobs it down low for Graham, now gets it to Dingler for the baseline jumper, and she knocks it down. is the lead for the first points. Actually, five points now for Madison Dingler. Dimwitty over to Burleson. 3.30 remaining. Burleson pulls it down now over to Brazier. Now to Campbell. Campbell dribbles. Gets into the paint. Kicks out to Schaefer. Schaefer drives. Layup up. No good. Rebound Dingler. Dingler, a nice move across the timeline. She'll drive. Shot up. No good, but she's fouled. That will go on Burleson, her third first foul for Summertown here in the second half. Pair of free throws coming up here for Madison Dingler. Moore County struggled in the first half from the line, just 5-14. It's the first time anyone's gone to the line here in the second half. First shot from Dingler on its way and rattles it in. Olivia Riggs to check into the game as Campbell will check out for Summertown. Next shot from Dingler on its way and rolls it in. Dingler now with seven. It's a 34-20 Summertown lead. Bring, Brazier, excuse me, bring it across the timeline here for Summertown. Crosses over now to Tim Weddy. Tim Weddy with it at the top of the key. Gets a screen from Schaefer. Hands over to Riggs. Riggs now to Tim Weddy. Throws it down low for Schaefer. Out of her reach into the hands of Macy Fletcher. Seventh turnover by Summertown. Pass deflected out of bounds by Riggs. We'll stay with the Raiders. 2.55 remaining here in the third. Dingler to take it out of bounds. Looking for somebody. Finally gets it into Ellie Graham. Now back to Dingler. 
Dangler facing the press. Gets it across the timeline. Now ahead to Logan. Logan to Macy Fletcher. Drives a baseline, and she's fouled by Abby Jo Schaefer. Schaefer will pick up her third. Team second of the second half. Dingler inbounds in the Graham. Down low to Fletcher. Off the glass. No good. Rebound, Mia Dimwitty. Moore County wanted a foul and wasn't, didn't get it. Dimwitty across the timeline over to Burleson. Burleson deep, NBA range three. Front iron, no good. Rebound, Paisley Logan. Logan back the other way across the timeline. Tries to drive. That one's passed off the feet of Fletcher who regains possession. Fletcher guarded by Burleson. Kicks out now to Macy Fletcher. Fletcher and an offensive foul call. Fletcher will pick up her second. Just a team second. It's now 18 turnovers against Moore County. Carly Campbell back into the game for Summertown. Abby Joe Schaefer will check out. 2-14 remaining here in the quarter. The inbounds will come in to Carly Campbell. Campbell now across the timeline. Hands over to Brazier. Brazier at the top. The key crosses over. Left hand to layup up, and she's fouled. That will go on Logan. That's her second team's third. A pair of free throws coming up for Emily Brazier. has been perfect at the line. Four for four. First shot on its way. Nothing but net. Mackenzie Reynolds will check in the game as Ainsley Burleson will check out. Next free throw from Brazier. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Macy Fletcher. Dingler with it. She'll cross the timeline, trailing by 15. Over to Katie Fletcher. Gets a screen from Macy. Sends over to Dingler in the corner. Back to Katie Fletcher. as at the top of the key. Guarded by Reynolds. And now gets it to Dingler in the paint. That one is knocked away by Olivia Riggs to McKenzie Reynolds. Reynolds. Nice pass. Carly Campbell, nice pass back to Reynolds. Goes up and that pass is, that shot is blocked by Katie Fletcher. Dingler with a long pass to Katie Fletcher. She'll try a three. Misses everything. Rebound to Carly Campbell. Campbell quickly across the timeline. Drives, kicks to Brazier in the corner. Brazier will drive, tries a mid-range jumper. That's blocked by Ellie Graham into the hands of Paisley Logan. Graham's had a big game as far as blocks go. Minute left here in the third. Fletcher, Katie Fletcher, it is, goes up and in, and she's fouled. That will go on Riggs, who picks up her second, team's third. And Katie Fletcher with a chance at the M1. Anna Harder now going to check into the game here for Paisley Logan. Now we, one of the officials just stopped. I guess he was trying to make sure that's who need to be shooting the free throw. Okay. Free throw from Fletcher, doesn't roll in. Rebound out to Graham, she can't get it to go and she's fouled. That will go against Dimwitty, who pick up her third, team's fourth. Now a pair of free throws for Ellie Graham. First one on its way, nothing but net. Schaefer will check back in. And Reynolds will check out. Foul trouble starting to mount up here for Summertown. Next free throw from Graham, rattles out, no good. Rebound, Fletcher, and that one's in. Fletcher in the double figures with 11. It's a 10-point Summertown lead. 45 seconds left in the quarter. Campbell, now to Brazier. Brazier layup up. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Schaefer up, and she's fouled. That will go against Fletcher, and Fletcher is going to pick up her third. 
Two free throws coming up here for Abby Jo Schaefer. First one on its way. Can't get it to go. Rare miss so far for the Summertown team who's been very good at the line. Next shot on its way, and she hits one of two. She's got eight. It's an 11-point lead. Schaefer out, Runnels in. 36 seconds left in the quarter. Dingler inbounds in the harder. Harder back over to Dingler. Dingler picks up her dribble, now over to Harder. Very close to the 10-second mark here, and they finally get it over the timeline. Now over to Graham. Graham kicks out the Fletcher, fakes a three, pulls it down, shot up, no good. Rebound, Mia Dimwitty. Dimwitty up with it. She'll cross the timeline. 15 seconds left, now to Brazier. Brazier to Campbell. Open for three. No good. Rebound, Dingler, but goes into the hands of Riggs. Five seconds left, Riggs out here to Dimwitty. Three from Campbell, nothing but none at the buzzer. Carly Campbell with eight. Summertown leads by 14 after three quarters of play. We'll have the start of the fourth quarter when we return here on the Exports Network. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. A.J. Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. Back at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, Summertown leads Moore County 39-25 to as we enter the final quarter of play. Summertown looking to go to 3-0 here in tournament play from Cornersville. Moore County will start off with the ball. Katie Fletcher has it. She'll cross the timeline for the Raiders. Hands over to Ellie Graham. Graham now over to Madison Dingler. Dingler hands over to Fletcher. Fletcher gets her pass intercepted by Brazier. Brazier quickly coming back the other way. Layup up and in. Brazier's got seven. Summertown leads at 41 to 25. Make that now 25 points off 21. Moore County turnovers. Drive, finish, can't get it to go from Ellie Graham. Graham will go to the line. That will go on Riggs, who, who will pick up her third, team's fifth. I actually say it's on the floor. Dingler will take it out of bounds. And we're going to get an offensive foul here called. Against Moore County. That's going to go on Graham. Graham picks up her first. It's the team's fifth. Clock stops at 7.26 remaining here in this game. Across the timeline is Brazier. Brazier now to McKenzie Runnels. Runnels over to Riggs in the corner to Brazier. Brazier now to Burleson. Burleson to Riggs. She'll try a three. Misses into the hands of Fletcher. And they get it over to Macy Fletcher. Now to Ellie Graham. Graham across the timeline. Hands over to Anna Harder. Harder. Now over to Dingler. Dingler drives. Shot up. Rolls it in. Good shot there by Madison Dingler. She's got nine. Leads down the 14. Brazier quickly ahead to Riggs. Riggs back out to Brazier. Open for three. Nothing but net. She's got 10 points. Jeremy Jean calls his first time out. A full time out leading by 17. We'll take that break with him here on the Exports Network. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, You need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow 
by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham, and I'm the general manager here at Heritage Automotive, and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floor by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic Summertown with a 44-27 lead with 635 remaining in the game. That pass intercepted by Emily Brazier. Brazier now to Campbell. Campbell dribbles over to Schaefer on the right wing. Now to Brazier straight away. Brazier now to Runnels. Runnels over to Campbell. Fakes a three. Dribbles back out near the Cornersville logo. Campbell still dribbling. Now over to Reynolds at the wing. She'll drive. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound into Ava Butts. Butts now to Dingler. Dingler facing the press. Gets it over to Butts. Butts down low to Graham. Knocked into the hands of McKenzie Reynolds. And then we get a foul called here. I believe that's going to go against Katie Fletcher. Fletcher will pick up her fourth, team six. 5.51 remaining here in the game. As Carly Campbell is going to walk it here across the timeline. Crosses over, hands over to Brazier. Brazier, nice pass down low to Abby Jo Schaefer. Gets her shot blocked by Graham into the hands of Ava Butts. Butts now ahead to Dingler. Dingler here to Fletcher. Fletcher is going to drive the baseline. Shot up and in. She's got four. It's a 44-29 lead. Campbell walks across the timeline. Man-to-man put on by the Raiders. Over to Burleson. Burleson now to Brazier. Brazier to Reynolds. Reynolds dribbles out to the top of the key. Hands over to Campbell. Campbell crosses over into the paint. Goes up and under. What a move and it's in. Campbell in the double figures with 10. It's a 17-point lead again of 46-29. Now three Eagles in the double figures. Campbell, Brazier, and Burleson. Long pass by Katie Fletcher to Paisley Logan. Logan goes down low to Fletcher. Lobs it over to Graham. Graham kicks out the butts. He'll try three. Nothing but net. Her first points in the lead. Is down the 14, 46-32. Man-to-man put on. Burleson throws it down low to Schaefer. Schaefer shot up. No good, but she's fouled. That will go against Fletcher, and that is going to be her last. Macy Fletcher will check in for Katie Fletcher. And... Dimwitty and Riggs in for Reynolds. And Brazier. First free throw coming up for Abby Joe Schaefer. Rattles out, no good. Next free throw on its way, and she rolls it in. She's got nine. The Eagles 11 to 14 from the line. Dingler lobs it in for Graham. Graham gets it back to Dingler. Dingler here crossing the timeline, facing the man-to-man over to Butts. Butts looking for somebody. Now to Fletcher in the corner. It's her dribble knocked away by Schaefer. Now over to uh, Graham. Graham gets the pressure here from Dimwitty. Gets it over to Butts. 
Moore County struggling with this tight man-to-man -man defense. And that passes, excuse me, that dribble's knocked away by Burleson into the hands of Abby Joe Schaefer. Make that now 25 turnovers by Moore County. Campbell dribbles, crosses over out to Burleson. Down low to Schaefer. Schaefer loses it in the paint out to Dimwitty. Now to Riggs. Riggs into the paint, right hand to layup up. No good, but she's fouled. Foul will go against Macy Fletcher, who picks up her fourth, and now Riggs will go to the line to shoot two. First shot on its way, nothing but net. Brazier will check back in. Schaefer out. Harder in. And butts out for the Raiders. Next free throw rattles in for Riggs. She's got five points. Jeremy Jean's going to call a 30-second timeout with this team leading by 17. We'll take the break with him here on the X Sports Network. For the best at-home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. This is the X Sports Network. Back at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic, the Summertown Girls leading Moore County 49 32, 330 remaining in the game. Dingler inbounds to Graham, but gets it back to Dingler. And now jog it over the timeline. Hands over to Graham, loses control, regains it. Throws it down low for Macy Fletcher. Double team the paint. Nice pass to Graham. Left hand to layup up and in, and she's fouled. Foul goes on Brazier, pick up her second, team six. And Graham for a chance for the M1. Raiders eight of 19 from the line so far to today. Free throw on its way, rolls it in. Graham with six at the 49-35 lead, 3.15 remaining. Press put on here by the Raiders, Brazier over to Dimwitty. Dimwitty lobs over to Campbell. Campbell across the timeline. Coming in quickly, now out to Burleson. Burleson now the Dimwitty in the camel in the corner for three. Knocks it down, nothing but net. She's got 13. It's another 17-point lead for the Eagles. Across the timeline, Dingler now to Graham. Graham picks up her dribble over to Dingler. Dingler drives over to Logan. Logan in the corner to Dingler. And a... Very light foul called against Ainsley Burleson. They missed one on the other side. Well, actually, the other side of the court. That was way more physical than that. And they call a very light foul. Dingler will go to the line for the one and one. Nothing but net on the first. She's now in the double figures with ten. Next shot on its way. High arching shot. She gets them both. She's got 11. Raiders now 11 from 22 from the line. Burleson picks up her dribble. Now over to Dimwitty. Dimwitty bounce pass over to Brazier. Over to Campbell. Campbell crosses over. Up and under. Can't get it to go. Rebound the Dingler. Dingler moves ahead quickly. Gets it across the timeline of speed. Now to Logan. Logan drives into the paint. Floater in the lane. That one's in. She's got four, and the lead's down the 13, 52-39. Brazier to Dimwitty, over to Burleson. Burleson's going to cross the timeline. She gets fouled from behind by Harder. Harder's going to pick up her second, team's ninth, and a one-on-one -on -one coming up for Burleson. Schaefer and Reynolds to check in. Oh, Reynolds is coming in for the shooter. Checking out was Brazier. First free throw from Burleson rattles home. A 
Next free throw. Rolls it in. She leads all scores with 15. Reynolds will now come in for Brazier. Excuse me, Burleson. 2-10 remaining. Summertown leading by 15. They're now 15 of 18 from the line. Harder with it. Gets it across. Picks up a dribble. Now the Dingler gets it across the timeline. Two minutes remaining. Dingler drives. Dribbles off of her shin. But they say it went off Summertown. We'll stay with Moore County. Dingler. Now over to Graham. Graham tries to lob it in for Fletcher. Fletcher being quadruple team. Throws up a shot. Gets her own rebound. Now back over here to Harder. Logan throws up a shot. That one's no good and she's fouled. That will go on Riggs. who will pick up her fourth. Team's eighth. A pair of free throws coming up here for Paisley Logan. Pace of the game is really slowed down here. Late in the fourth quarter. Wasn't much pace at all in the first quarter. First free throw from Logan knocks it down. Burleson and Brazier will check in. Dimwitty and Schaefer will check out. Next free throw from Logan. Hits them both. She's got six and now 13 to 24 from the line. Inbounds in the Campbell. Campbell looking for somebody, gets it to Riggs. Riggs now to Burleson. Three on two on the other end. Burleson pulls up, hands it back to Riggs, loses it, and gets it to Brazier. Brazier now to Campbell. Campbell has it at the Cornersville logo, minute and a half left. She crosses over, drives now out to Reynolds. Reynolds will hold on to the ball. Loses control of that and gets it to Brazier at the Cornersville logo. Now over to Campbell. Campbell, now over to Reynolds. Reynolds, now over to Campbell. Campbell will dribble out. Summertown now with a minute left here in the game, killing the clock like crazy. Riggs will try an open three. No good, rebound Fletcher. And now over to Dingler, gets it across the timeline. Hands over to Logan. Logan to Graham in the paint, and we get a foul call. That will go against Brazier. She'll pick up her third, team's ninth, and one and one coming up for Graham. First shot from Graham. Actually, that's ten team fouls now. Graham hits the, misses the first. Next one on its way, and rattles it home. She's got seven. The lead's down to 12 with 45 seconds remaining. Burleson in the Campbell. Campbell picks up her dribble over to Brazier. Brazier, nice pass to Riggs ahead to Reynolds. Reynolds gets her shot blocked from behind by Fletcher. Moving now the other way, it's Harder. 30 seconds left. Harder just, oh. Harder fell down, and a foul's called here against Summertown. That will go against Brazier, who picks up her fourth. Harder go to the line to shoot two. Looking for her first points. First one off the front iron, no good. Dimwitty and Schaefer to check in. It will be Riggs and Reynolds out. Next shot from Harder on its way. Nothing but net. Her first point. Raiders now 15 of 28 from the line. Dimwitty now to Brazier. Brazier bounce pass to Campbell. Campbell trying to fight through the traffic. Picks up her dribble. And we get a foul call. Go against Dingler. And Dingler will pick up her second. Team's 10th. And now Campbell will go the line for two. Same officiating crew will have the men's game. Excuse me, the boys game between Summertown and Franklin Christian Academy. That one will probably take two years with the way these officials call fouls. And they finally confirm it's 10 fouls. Each side is 10 fouls. So we're going for two shots with 22 seconds left. 
First shot on its way and gets it in. Comes the next shot from Campbell. This one's on its way. Rattles it home. She's tied with Burleson with the game high 15 points. They lead by 13. Pass into Graham here for Moore County. Gets it back to Dingler. Dingler here now across the timeline to Harder. Harder over here to Logan in the corner. Logan dribbles out into the paint. Picks up her dribble. Now to Dingler in the corner for three. Off the front iron, no good. Over to Dimwitty. Now to Campbell. And Campbell's going to dribble it out. Summertown is going to improve to 3-2 on the season after going a perfect 3-0 here at the Cornersville Thanksgiving Classic. Campbell and Burleson tied with the game high 15 points. Emily Brazier also chipped in with 10. And Abby Jo Schaefer with 9. Olivia Riggs had 5. And Mia Dimwitty with 2. Final score, 56-43 Summertown. Our next game will be the Summertown Boys against Franklin Christian Academy. It's coming up in 10 minutes here on the Exports Network. This is the Exports Network.